In this video, I'm going to go over the major characteristics that help us to identify uh, morning glory spe species or Ipomoea species. And uh, the morning glories are going to be vining plants and um, they're going to have simple leaves and they're going to have solitary flowers. So we, we know that we've got a vining plant with simple leaves and with solitary flowers. Now it's just a matter of being able to differentiate all of those uh, based on their characteristics. <clears throat> when, we, when we get into, um, well, first of all, you're going to have a copy of this on the uh, Canvas uh, website that you can take a look at. Uh, this list that I, I've typed up and, and one of the main things you're going to focus on is you're going to focus on the actual shape of the leaf. Uh, so this is going to give you leaf shape and uh, leaf hairs is going to make a, a big difference as far as do they have um, the, do they have leaf hairs present and if they do are the hairs sticking straight out or are they uh, simply uh, lying flat or are they kind of sparse hairs on the leaf. The color of the flower can make a difference but in, in most cases we're going to focus more on the the size uh, and characteristics of the flower particularly um, you know the size of the flower is going to make a difference in the color but but these things called sepals, these lower uh, bracts, so you have the petals of the corolla itself and then you have these the sepals that are actually below the petals are going to make a, a big difference as far as how you identify these. So here's our list. Now let's, I'm going to kind of flip back and forth between the website and um, this, this list as we go through these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the, the website in to the screen here so you can see that and I'm going to move the uh, page out that way I've got it on another screen but you should have a, a printout copy of that okay alright so here we go here's here's our list let's start with something easy let's start with cypress vine morning glory and cypress vine like I said it's a twining plant uh, it's a vining plant uh, but it really is very simple to identify because you're going to have these very finely divided leaves instead of having a, a simple um, uh, entire heart-shaped leaf as, as all of them the morning glories normally have. Cypress vine uh, is is different in that it has this uh, very finely divided leaf and it also has a very you know a lot smaller red flower that with this star shaped and we talked about those sepals and you can see the sepals in this case are really oppressed to the corolla itself and uh, so you know to me very very distinguishing characteristics of, of cypress vine morning glory so that, that's number one let's take a look at that one okay let's kind of stick with more of things that are um easy to identify okay so we'll jump to small flower morning glory which is a, a vining plant but small flower morning glory is uh, is actually Jacamontia tamnifolia and not Ipomoea so it's a, it's actually given a different genus name and as you can see it has some uh, very different flowers it ha actually has clusters of flowers normally in the apex uh, of the plant uh, and these flowers are, are much smaller, going to be about a centimeter uh, in diameter across and uh, normally have this blue coloration and when you see a bunch of them together they normally have this fuzzy headed appearance that you can actually find uh, so you can see the Jacamontia um, Tamnifolia, the small flower morning glory and it's called small flower morning glory because of those small flowers the petals are elongated, they're kind of an elongated harp shape, and they have this definite um, deep indentation with the primary veins you can see in the leaf as well. And, uh, okay, that deep indentation, but that elongated leaf as opposed to some of the others that we'll look at. Okay, so those are, those are two that are, are pretty simple to identify. Uh, Palm leaf morning glory as well. Don't have many pictures of palm leaf. We don't talk about it too much, but again, we talked about having simple leaves, and this actually has um, actually has five leaflets of a single leaf that actually get one, two, three, four, five, and it's actually in more of a palm shaped. Um, more of a palm shape. It definitely is a palm shape, and uh, because of those five. 
uh, leaflets reminds people of a hand, and that's how it really gets its name. Uh, we're not going to talk much about since its leaves are so distinguishing. It's the the flower is really secondary. Okay, so palm leaf morning glory, Apamea right eye. Okay, and we'll jump back now. Let's get a little bit a little bit tougher. Let's look at uh, big root morning glory, which really it's our only perennial, but it um, represents more of what we think about a morning glory. Number one, you can look at the flower. You can see that large uh, corolla, five fused petals, five sepals. And you can see the sepals here in this case, as you can see at the base of this flower, are going to be small and oppressed. The f leaves are primarily glabrous and they're going to be that definite heart shaped in color. You do see some purpling around the edges but that may or may not be there. And uh, and because it's a perennial you'll normally get very dense stands of uh, of big root morning glory. Again, got referred to as big root because of its uh, ability to perenniate. Very showy white flower as well. And you can see that star patterning of the five points of the star due to those five fused petals that actually occur. And again, really looks like a morning glory plan, what you think a morning glory should look like with uh, uh, those uh, sepals and the large um, tubular flower there. Okay, Big root morning glory. Alright, let's get a little bit harder. Let's look at entire leaf and ivy leaf morning glory. Okay, now we look at these and we see we have Ah, oh, something very different here with the entire leaf morning glory in that look at the sepals on this flower. Sepals are much more elongated. We still have that funnel form shaped flower with the five fused petals, but you do see those elongated sepals in this case, and you see the hairs that stick directly out of the base of the sepals. Okay, see so if we can get a little bit better view with this picture. See those elongated sepals that are covered in hairs, and see the hairs at the base of the sepals here. And again, the five fused petals, kind of a light bluish color. It's very common in the uh, in Alabama to have that light bluish color on entire leaf morning glory. And let's look at the hairs on the leaf itself and you can see from this picture that the hairs actually stick straight out so they're not lying flat uh, on an entire leaf morning glory but they actually stick straight out from the leaf itself okay and here's a very dense patch of uh, entire leaf morning glory okay now let's compare entire leaf to uh, tall morning glory okay entire leaf to tall okay very similar, but for tall, uh, again, we're not focusing too much on flower color, although this one has a deep purple color, but really focus on the consistency of these sepals in that they both have a lot of hairs at the base of the sepals, but this one has very short sepals, whereas Entire Leaf Morning Glory had very long, curved sepals as well. Okay, A lot of hairs along the stem as well. Okay, with tall morning glory. Apamea purpurea. You see purpurea is going to give you tell you about the purple coloration. And um, on tall morning glory as well, if we had a little bit close up picture you could see this, but the hairs actually lie flat on tall. And you can really feel this if you were to get out and collect a sample of tall morning glory, of entirely morning glory, and you try to press down on the leaf, it has this crunchy feel because you're going to hit those hairs on the leaf, whereas um, tall morning glory, you're not going to have that because the leaves are, are lying flat. So they're going to have a fuzzy appearance, but both are going to have a simple, more of a simple heart-shaped leaf, leaf as well. Okay, let's look at eight. Let's look at two more that are going to require you to identify. Um, one is Red Morning Glory. In Red Morning Glory, it has a similar flower to Cypress Vine. Uh, it has this long tubular red flower, very small uh, fused uh, termination of the flower, and you can see very similar to Cypress Vine Morning Glory. 
But as we can see with red morning glories, it has uh, a definite heart-shaped leaf, which is going to distinguish it as well. You can see once the flowers fall off as well, you see these sepals that remain uh, on the fruiting structure afterwards. And you can't see it too great with these pictures, but if you look at the very top of the leaf here, with red morning glory, you get these horns, or you get these points that tend to uh, form on the leaf, on the edge of the leaf, which can be very characteristic of red morning glory. And here's another picture of that. Kind of get these points at the very top of the leaf, and uh, can be very characteristic of red morning glory. The sample we had to take pictures of is actually a fairly weak uh, sample in this case but this is a very characteristic of red morning glory these points on the end and the very fact that it it's it's only similar flower is going to be that of cypress vine all right let's look at one more uh you're going to be qu required to know uh be able to identify uh and that's going to be pitted morning glory pitted morning glory can be one of your more common morning glories very wide diversity amongst leaf shape Okay, it can have very heart-shaped leaves. It can be have these lobes, kind of these three lobe structures, a one, two, upper, and then you have a more of an acropital point here, whereas you have your, your bicipital points here uh, of the leaf. But it can be heart-shaped, almost always glabrous, so almost not always with no hairs, and no hairs on the stem as well. We look at the flower of pitted morning glory. It's normally about in the size range of what you're going to see with red morning glory or with what you're going to see with um, um, cypress vine morning glory, except you're going to have a white coloration in this case. And normally what I see is that pitted morning glory is one of the last morning glories to flower for some reason. Why that's the case, I don't know but it does tend to be one of the last ones to flower. You can see fairly glabrous on the sepals here, white to a slight purple coloration on the flower, and uh, short pointed sepals. And here's a look at the fused uh, petals there, that flower, okay? So, bringing the list back in, in this case of that what we've looked at, we've went over Big root, cypress vine, uh, entire leaf. We didn't go over ivy leaf morning glory, but we did go over palm leaf, pitted, red, tall, and small flower. And we didn't go over purple. Purple don't have great pictures on that one. Very unique um, flower, though, uh, on that one, and actual thorns on the stem structure. So that's all for morning glories, and you should be... Um, have plenty of information to learn how to identify those.